Hello everybody, it's Mike. Welcome back to the train room. Man, I wish everybody could be here tonight because we are going to have some fun running a couple crazy what ifs. Um, it is blue locomotive night and I'm only going to run one freight and one passenger tonight. One passenger train uh, and one freight. And the consist behind the freight is super fun. Uh, I'm not going to give a spoiler alert, but I'm going to let you know that when I originally started in trains uh, in O scale, like five years ago, I really had planned on collecting flat cars with trailers and flat cars with cars and not going quite as gangbusters as I did and finding some key like limited line L pieces um, still made in the USA. So on the track tonight, you're going to see one of them run, which is the Lionel blue Commodore Vanderbilt, which, uh, originally started as a silver one left over in the Lionel warehouse. And they took 250 of them and painted them blue. And then they took 250 of them and painted them red. And they got rid of the wireless tender, which was on the original silver Commodore Vanderbilt. And uh, created a few of the first locomotives to have the wireless tether. So let's take a look at this. And I'll give you the models of all this stuff at the end, like usual. So here's the blue Commodore Vanderbilt. There's that wireless tender. And this is a 90s locomotive. As I said, it is all die cast. It was made in the USA. Um, and we're about to see the Route 66 collection that Lionel brought out, 98-99. Uh, flat cars with two cars on them. Okay, we'll handle that. And they're pretty interesting. Uh, and then on the other inside rail, we... Oh, there's my mountain I've been working on. So last video, if you look... Uh, that wasn't like that. It was all black right here. So I did a lot of work on that the other night and started on this section too. Um, anyway, shiny, back to the subject here. Um, so this is a SD70 Ace Missouri Pacific. This is not a what if. What is behind it will be what if. So this is a MTH Premier Proto Sound 3. This was the first scale diesel locomotive I bought uh, in MTH with Proto 3. And uh, I had the Lionel Legacy version. Sold that one off to one of my friends because uh, uh, after having both of them, both 1982, I came down to I wanted something different and he wanted that engine. So now I have the uh, MTH and I love it. And let's get the two consists rolling, enough talking. I know you guys like action. If you were over here with me tonight, I'd be like, hey, grab a remote and let's run. But that's what makes YouTube so awesome because it can be like you are here. So here's the Commodore Vanderbilt's whistle. Still one of the most impressive out there. Limited crew talk. All right, we're clear for departure. Let's get this guy rolling. thing about this locomotive is at top speed it will not derail because we are at top speed and when it comes around here you're going to see it is not exactly express freight these weren't known for their speed uh, from Lionel let's we'll go down a little bit you can still see the cars so there's 10 cars and then I have a die-cast New York Central caboose. 
on that concept. All right. So, let's go over here to our MTH. Yes, I said a passenger train, Missouri Pacific. Does everybody know that there's a what if? Here it comes. So we have the Lionel LED box car. You can see the LEDs in there. Then we have an MTH coach, Missouri River Eagle. Then we have the Colorado Eagle and the Valley Eagle. That's the only three I think they made. And they do have passengers. There goes our Commodore. Look at all those shiny autos. Love it. Alright, we get a shot of this guy as he's making his way out of the tunnel here. Pacific Heritage uh, passenger set. So sometimes what ifs can be fun and uh, they definitely can be cool. And when it's your railroad, what if is up to you. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to run, whatever design for your railroad you want to have is what makes this hobby so fun. So let's talk about what's on the rails as far as model wise so on the mth set uh whoa that guy doesn't belong there let's get this back over here all right on the mth set that's the sd 78 then this is the heritage led flag box car from Lionel. This is the uh, full length Vista Dome. Then this is the two coach set right here. Um, and these are the model numbers of the coach car. 69141A, 69141B, obviously the set 69141. Then let's make our way down here. This is what happens to a Lionel box when someone leaves it sitting in the sun for too long. And this one even, I bought with the shipper. I bought this from Electric Train Outlet, which was our biggest uh, train store here in St. Louis, run by Bob Jacobson, one of my friends now. And he has since retired and closed up that shop. And it's sad because he had a lot of cool stuff there. And this was sitting in the sunshine on display for a while because he wasn't interested in selling it and finally I talked him out of it and uh, that's where I picked this up. This was $1,150 back then like in 2019 when I got it. Uh, and this is the one that's like they say, one of 250. Then these are the cars in order behind the uh, Commodore Vanderbilt. So there's the first car with the uh, Woody in the trailer. And then that's the second, the black touring coupes. Then the sedans, which are red. Then the uh, cream and yellow coupes. Then the wagons, um, then the brown sedans, 
those are a two-tone blue sedan. Then those are the dark blue coupes, which are my favorite of all of them outside of the Woody wagon and trailer. Then this one is the green. It's going to look like a Jeep. Our international uh, Grand Wagoneer or something. And then these are the other set of black sedans. Uh, and that is the other. If you wanted to complete the set, that's the four car set that you would add on. And now you would have all of the Route 66. Um, and then obviously there's the model on the Commodore Vanderbilt. I did not dig out the box for that caboose. Um, it's just a die cast caboose. You look that up and you will see those available in New York Central. So ooh, we're steaming now. We got some smoke going finally. Takes a while for it to warm up. So that is my update for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the blue locomotive what ifs. I should say the consist or what if, because we know that this MTH is not. And until next time, hope everyone is having a good week. And uh, we got one more freight train and one more passenger train out of the way. Still a lot to go. See ya.